Welcome to another session of Endless Legend. Uh, I figured out why I lost units there. I'm just going to remove the reinforcements. Uh, the irritating way this game works. I mistook that for an attack on my city. And uh, yeah, I lost a bunch of units for no reason. Although it cost them dearly, let's put it that way. Um, I guess I could go for these resources, but I don't really have a way to exploit it because I'm playing the worst faction of the game. Um, this upgrade would be nice in our main city, though. So I'm gonna pick that up. Yeah, cultists are. They feel very underpowered to me. I wish they weren't, because they're really cool in some ways. Um, but yeah, I'm just keeping my spy there, I just don't know what to do with her. I want to make sure it's something productive in the near future. Um, in four turns I'll have a six stack of these nameless guards, and hopefully with that stack I can actually put the screws on green. I think I should have been a lot more conservative for my armies, maybe. I underestimated how many forces the endless AI can make. It's kind of ridiculous actually. You often try you often have to beat them like again and again and again. Um, it's very unfair. <laughs> Having a new empire plan soon, which is like the only thing that's going well for us here. Um, now we could push up before nameless cards. I'm gonna wait for the, the fourth one at least, and then probably construct seven in total. We're gonna have to be careful that we don't uh, get our army stuck. I guess I'm just going to wait for the final uh, component of this army. Waiting an extra two turns for our attack is not the end of the world. But losing all our units because we uh, we took an unfavorable engagement is the end of the world. We're very much on the brink here. We're almost ready to get a, the, the final level here. And we can get the fortification to zero with that. Alright. I just think that's what we want to do. Or we can make sure that they're... We can either get the fortification to zero, or we can make their army units way worse. The question is, which would benefit from more? Or oh, which is less bad for us. <laughs> oh boy. Hopefully they'll move their army forward, we can take an engagement close to our city, and just pick them off before they join us. I mean... Like, for all the whining I've been doing and for all the bad engagements I've taken, which lost me units, we still have quite a powerful army here. Um, I'm just going to move them forward here. Ah, uh, so annoying. I messed those things up. Let's just uh, decrease fortification to zero for 10 turns. It's great. And now they have no fortification, so next turn we could besiege it and start damaging their units, which is great. I've run out of titanium for nameless guards. I might want to spend some on that. Mm, although I don't have to. I'm not doing this stuff, using this task for anything else. I don't need extra governors. But I might need extra nameless guards. I mean, because they're, they're, we've used it on the final level, the fortification is zero and will stay zero. Oh, we just out of range of our city. That's irritating. But we can start chipping away at their units here. So that's good. Oh, okay. There's a fight here. I ended the turn there. Uh, oh, this turn will only end when we've finished this battle. That's interesting. I don't know like it worked like that. I thought it just didn't let you end turn if you had a battle remaining. So we're going to position our units like this, our hero will be here to do some tanking, and we'll be ready. Actually we can just move them around here. Just let them like walk into us, and when they do that we'll be ready with a rain of fire or 
arrows. <laughs> Less poetically, but arrows, arrows, yeah, basically arrows. Okay, we're just gonna keep our units held over here. This unit over here, this unit over here, this unit over here. And hope that the, the walk towards our units is gonna cost them. I, I'm really planning on using this terrain to pepper them with arrows. Oh, look at that damage output. Beautiful! I wonder if this unit is actually getting shots in. I hope it will. No, never mind. That unit is terribly placed. What was I thinking? <laughs> I should have placed it here, but whatever. But everything else about the strategy is working out flawlessly, honestly. I just pointed on the floor. But like, <laughs> but still, flawless. Believe me. Um, now this unit can attack this, this can attack this, this can attack this, attack so. Yeah. Alright. It looks like we're really getting a few shots in here. Yeah, these all ranged armies normally aren't like great, but here we can really exploit the terrain. And it turns out our neighbor's guards are actually very strong anyways. In most terrains, to be honest. And we even have a hero to hold the fort if we need to. Yeah, here. Yeah, that should work out. We've really done a ton of damage for how little we've lost. And even if our hero dies, that is not bad because. Well, it's bad. But like, <laughs> it's not a costly because our hero will always be raised at the end of the fight as long as we have units remaining. So our hero is sort of the ideal damage sponge, given that we can really exploit the terrain like this. Go and move like that. I can think about focus firing, hitting these units. Yeah, these two can shoot there, I guess. What's great is they're really tripping over each other, not really doing almost any damage. And in the meantime, we are really Dishing out the shots here. Oof, that was great. That kind of gives me hope. I, I, again, I, I thought we were on the ropes. I made some mistakes, took some bad engagements, was too eager before. But I think this is the strategy I have to pursue in future games. Is just trying to turtle at home until I have a six stack of these nameless cards and really use them uh, very carefully to pick off all my units for free, or all enemy units for free. A problem of, a lot of, one problem I have with the end of step because you lot is that I am too aggressive and I really um, shouldn't be. I need to be qu you need to be quite careful. Make sure that you don't lose any units. Because the AI has so many extra resources than you, so many more armies than you, that you have to be very careful and take only very good engagements. Speaking of which, I think we've gained the city now. By gain the city, I mean we've, um, we've raised it. Yep, and we set the city on fire. Excellent! Um, as excellent as that kind of terrible, <laughs> morally tragic thing can be. And now let's see what we've got on the Empire. Five Stein stockpiles. Um, we can wait till organized labor, I guess. But no, we actually can't wait till organized labor. It will be more effective once we get organized labor, but until then, um, it's not a bad idea for us to activate these quickly. Just make our main city more powerful by improving its industry. They don't uh, stack, they do stack in the sense that they continue to be active, so this is basically five turns of better science for us. Uh, they don't stack in the sense that they uh, apply at the same time. They apply one after the other, I think. Alright, cool. Now that we have those extra guards, we can try and put more pressure on them.
I want to get the burrows up so I can level up my main city. Um, this is not bad. Terrain of sea or lake. We have seas or lakes and we have populations in our city. I kind of think we want to improve our science in our main city a lot. Uh, actually, we probably want to improve our dust first, to be honest. This is important for us. And to get that dust, we need to get more glass steel, so we can do that. Let's link up these armies. It will cost us too much dust if we move them separately, even if it costs us some movement points. Okay, let's infiltrate it with this hero. Uh, let's use this opportunity to give our hero some extra defense. We can also go further and try and get defense on units, but I think defense and just hero is going to be relevant because our, our hero is really the one that's suffering. <laughs> now the question is, do we want to go for this? Probably we don't want to go, for, actually we probably don't want to go for that uh, city. We want to probably move back, try and harass that city, because it's going to be easier to put pressure on that city. We can come back to this city later. And we have bonus science, very nice. Trade routes would be nice if we had trade routes, but we don't, so we won't. Um, we already have this bonus attack on units. Loss on military upkeep is not a bad idea. And we have enough happiness, I think, that we don't really, we're not really worried about these. But we should be getting more dust like this. Really, the Empire fans are pretty good with this faction. Because you only have one city. <laughs> Which is a way of saying... <laughs> <laughs> You're not completely screwed if you don't have one, only have one city. Though you are screwed though. Um, let's buy this. We want to buy six glass steel eventually. Let's do that. Uh, let's get this advanced. I do want to make my way towards... Uh, oh, this is another city we can assault. Yeah, we're going towards that city. Given that we have... When we do we have get these cities, we can just benefit a lot from these bonuses. And once we get organized labor, conquering cities is going to be huge for us. Seek out the way. Hopefully they don't attack us. Cryonic monitor. What is a cryonic monitor? Cryometric monitors. What are those? Ah, oh, those things. So let's see what this quest reward is. Uh, uncommon armor. No, that's not bad. So we want to get this eventually, anyways. Uh, on terrain of anomaly, how many armies we have? One, two, three. So that's going to give our city a flat boost of. 35 science, not terrible. Not amazing, but not terrible either. Speaking of not terrible. Oh, it's actually kind of terrible. <laughs> Our titanium production could be better. We could attack this city, but I don't think I want to directly attack it. I want to think about terrain as well. I, I probably want to position my army units here so I can make use of some cliffs during the fight. I don't have to rush to capture these cities. But I do want to besiege them. Yeah, this fight should go easily. Far away. Um, this, our spy is getting a lot of experience, which is very good. Um, at least that way we have multiple heroes doing relevant things. Very great. I want another district at some point, though. What do I need the titanium for? This thing? I we'll have. We'll easily have six titanium in the next couple of turns. I think we have enough army units for now that I can get uh, easy trades off. So I don't know if I need this much dust anymore. I kind of want to build my population again. And I will. I wish I had more Titan Burns though. How expensive are Titan Burns? 
Um, 19. I have to invest quite a lot, of, lot into industry to pick that up. Okay, let's just make, make this fight perfectly. Let's see if we can use the cliff. Uh, we can, that's great. Just put everything on top of the cliff. Just use and abuse this cliff. I make this really irritating slash creepy rattling sound. So then did some damage to us there, but let's see how much it matters. I think if they're gonna funnel their units into us like this, we're probably gonna have a field day. Like we're gonna probably kill them off one by one. Okay, we want to bounce this back. We want to make these archers attack this unit. These archers can all fight, focus fire this unit. We want to move this archer unit back a bit. Yeah, it seems like this uh, nameless guard army is really helping me stabilize in this game. Yeah, I, I learned a lot this game. I mean, um, <laughs> I certainly didn't play this game optimally, right? But I, I did, I did uh, figure out a bit more about how to. Well, I did learn a bit more about how to play the cultists, and yeah, I think it definitely shows that we've we've picked up some extra tricks here. Getting bonus life on 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 our armies is not the best if we since we have a melee unit. I wasn't a melee hero. I wasn't really aware of what hero I wanted at the start of the game because I wasn't really aware of how I should play this faction. But it seems we might even want a ranged hero, though having a melee hero to make sure nothing dies is quite valuable. Especially since these units can actually tank, it turns out. Get him, four faced guys! Wreck him! I still believe in you. Okay, hopefully we are here when never mind here with the dust, whatever. Don't care. Okay, I'm gonna keep shooting in this direction. Um, I can even move up here and then shoot. These units, we're all gonna fire on this unit, and here we're gonna move up in this direction and shoot on whatever comes our way. Even with shields, we're doing a ton of damage to them. Excellent. Having the high ground is really important, it turns out. So, some things I learned from this playthrough is that I want to turtle until I have these name discard armies. And when I do have these name discard armies, I'm just going to take clever engagements around, uh, around cliff faces, etc. And just completely wreck my enemies or for enemies or whatever. Uh, keep shooting on this guy. Move this army back. Keep shooting on that guy with this unit. Yeah. Especially if they're going to be idiots and funnel themselves like this. We have no qualms like shooting them all down. Even their governor turns out. So much damage. Oof. Yeah, I actually kind of enjoy myself playing the cult, actually. It is quite a challenge, but it's also kind of unique playing on one city alone. Uh, and look at that. We just completely wiped out their armies here. And taking a city. Well, taking a city kind of sucks for us. But we're basically taking a city, in a way, like, with a perfect victory. Okay, this is a bit harder. Oh, shit. I didn't realize they still had uh, fortification value. Oops. Okay, we're gonna shoot over here, shoot over here, 
shoot over here, shoot over here. And then we're gonna hold position with this guy. And then we're gonna shoot down here, 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 and move this guy up. Hopefully we just funnel them into this choke point. And oh, I completely forgot about the fortification value, that was terrible. Oh well. See, we'd be, we'd have killed something by now if it wasn't for the fortification value. Although, I'm not actually doing the worst. Oof. I'm not as prepared as I should be to fight with these ranged compositions. Let's just shoot shoot on that army. Let's move this back. We can shoot like this. Okay, let's fire. We even have health regeneration in these things. Kind of disgusting, actually. It's kind of disgusting how good these nameless cards are. <laughs> It's, it's very surprising to me because I guess I've never played with them. I never got to that point in the game where I was like, <laughs> got a bunch of these units, I didn't feel like giving up. <laughs> and despite the fact that I made another mistake, I think I'm going to win this fight very handily. So yeah, that's great. Let's just bounce this back. Let's keep shooting. Actually, we just can keep firing on this unit. This you can fire on this unit. Yeah, should be easy enough. Or oh, is it? Never mind. That was terrible. I hope I don't use that army unit. That would feel terrible. Let's keep firing over there. I don't know what to say commentary wise with the battle. Like, okay, good job, guys. I'm happy. <laughs> keep it up. Except that part. Even if we lose one lameless guard, it's lameless guard. <laughs> it is without lame. <laughs> okay, let's just bounce this guy. No! Oh, it's still alive. No! Oh, never mind. I thought that human was about to attack. Okay, that's dead. Are we gonna? Are we actually gonna capture the city despite my mistake of attacking with the fortifications up without losing a single unit? Is is the dream alive? No, the dream is dead. <laughs> oh, the dream is alive! The dream is alive! Beautiful. Alright. So, because they didn't focus fire, my mistake was has gone unpunished, and I raise yet another city with the cultists. This is really fun. I have a lot of fun. Just crushing them. What's your name? Well, I guess the name is gods are like badass. Just taking names. Will, I don't know what the taking names thing is means. I, <laughs> I know that's not either with being badass there. Problem solved. I'm just gonna build this. Yeah, um, it turns out these nameless gods are pretty sick. I'm still not doing as well as I would have really liked to be doing, but. This game was quite exciting, you know. It had a lot of um, terrible mistakes, it had a lot of uh, surprises. Not just in terms of how powerful this faction is, but also in terms of how we were able to come back from the brink of defeat multiple times. Which is always nice. It's nice when things don't go in a predictable fashion. Because, um, especially for me, I've played these games quite a lot. And there's often like, okay, now I'm going to get this upgrade again and win like this. And like, uh. <laughs> or now I'm going to lose it this timing push. Timing push. And the, ti the, the timing push I feared so much did happen in this playthrough. Um, yeah. But despite that, I did manage to pull through. And I, mean, I made a couple of mistakes. I lost a couple of units in some bad engagements. But with this nameless guard army, I finally feel like I'm in a position to both defend my territory and crush my opponent. Or crush other factions, I think. It should be 100 higher now. So we have stockpiles for days now, basically. As long as we just keep capturing these cities. We also want to contain green, because green's mean. <laughs> ah, screw you, green. Why are you so, like... You came close to killing me. You came close, but now it's my turn. 
and I'm going to make you regret the day you ever something something with me. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> we know your army is in a great military power indeed, hey? Well, you better be fucking afraid, dude. I've been wrecking all day. Fear me, man. Um... Uh, we we still we still don't have enough dust to influence convert places. We can get to the dust of, dust refinery up pretty soon there. That should help with that. Ah, oh, never mind. Well, no. Okay, with the dust refinery, hopefully we'll have enough dust to work on that. Uh, we can move our hero towards the dust refinery option really quickly. This is this one base play is actually really fun. I mean, <laughs> I trash talk this faction a lot coming into the game, but. Um, yeah, I, I'll be the first to admit it. I was I was wrong. <laughs> they're really fun. They're really interesting. Maybe better than I thought they were. Um, oh, now we have this Dust Eclipse, which is terrible because now we're using only Nameless Guards and none of the minor faction units. <laughs> oh, the tides have turned. Oh, the tides have turned on you, Green. Screw you, Green. You and your massive armies. You ain't got shit. Alright, we can move this back. Actually, the sooner we can get a tier and get the signal call, the better, because then we're gonna have eight units in the army. And I also want to get this organized labor, so really gonna help us out. Especially if we save up some um, stockpiles for that. And another nice thing is we're always on fervent. Because, yeah. It's just easy for us to be on fervent. With these two upgrades. Possible we could I mean, we don't we don't even need these things. We probably want these things for the bonuses, but we don't need a lot of happiness upgrades. Because we only have one city, it's very easy for us to stay on fervent. Um I think I wanna I definitely wanna think about picking up an extra bar over there. Eventually. I don't know if I can, I need more population probably. Oh wait. Oops. Oh no. Oh, this is so irritating. They attacked this army because it was besieging. Oh, why? Cruel world! Well, um, <laughs> I think I'm done with this se session. Uh, I think the next time I'm probably going to just sacrifice these nameless guards or reload past that turn so I can just click through that stupid movement. It's so annoying that this is like a feature and they, because I was besieging there, ugh, I couldn't retreat these guys. Super irritating. Um, but let me try and rectify the situation next time. Thanks again for joining me. Uh, hopefully I can avoid disaster here on my disastrous playthrough as the cultists of the eternal end. So join me next time to see if this is actually the end.